In this last part, we're going to go over how to recover an existing uh, low floating standing seam on a metal building using just insulation and ice and water shield. So I only like doing this on the low floating systems. I don't really like the idea of having a five or six inch long screw going through this panel into the purlin to having this one inch offset here between the two because it's more likely to shear off if you've got this one inch space here, I believe. So um, anyway, let's get to it. So the first thing you do uh, when you're doing this type of a recover is you infill between the ribs of the existing panel with some uh, with some ISO or EPS that's form cut. Okay, there's your board. You can get this stuff from any of the people that manufacture insulation. And then you either put an HD board, HD ISO board <clears throat> on top of that. I would never put like a JIT board or something like that because this stuff is too heavy for a metal building. HD ISO board is okay. Or if you just want to put some more ISO up there, <laughs> you can do that as well. So here we got an inch and a half of ISO on top of our three inches. So now we got four and a half inches of insulation. And then you can put ice and water shield directly on top of this. So if you're in a high wind zone and you want to use a symmetrical panel, which I strongly recommend, then you can install your continuous clips right here on top. So these things go back to back. And then you're just gonna use a long fastener like that. It's designed to go into a purlin and you're gonna drill, you're gonna use the continuous clips, two fasteners per clip into the purlin. So it's four fasteners per connection. <coughs> and then your roof panel goes on. So in this case, I'm showing you a 24 inch wide, 238T symmetrical standing seam it's going to snap into the continuous clips. And then once you get past the continuous clips and you want to use some standard clips, I'm going to move this over. If you're in a situation where you can use the standard clips, then you're going to use standard clips and a bearing plate. So you're going to have a bearing plate that goes on first, directly over the purlin and then your, your standard clip goes on top of that and then you're going to take that long fastener <clears throat> drive it down through the insulation into the purlin okay uh, this installation this type of <clears throat> you know the good thing about this type of installation is that you're watertight the whole time uh, it's it doesn't add any, doesn't help you any for the structure, but it, you know, because you're just adding weight at this point, just like a single ply, but, <clears throat> but it gives you your water type the whole time during your installation. And then you get the added benefit of having ice and water shield underneath your roof panel as well. Uh, that your panel goes up after you get your clips installed. And then you got your seam cover. Seam cover goes on. And then you just seam it up. So this uh, 24 inch wide 238D panel is great for doing this type of retrofit work. It's uh, you get plenty of coverage. <clears throat> it's good down to a quarter on 12 slope on most jobs. We get good wind uplift capacity out of it. You're going to get, you know, you can make the panel narrower <clears throat> to increase the wind capacity. Like I said before, this thing will get you to about 91 pounds per square foot allowable at five foot on center. When we use the continuous clips, <clears throat> 37 and a half pounds with the standard clips five foot on center. So uh, this covers our, this is the end of our, uh, our segment on recovering a metal building. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I hope it was beneficial to you. And uh, we'll be making more videos about other ways to recover. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm going to have my, my email address after this. So uh, feel free to contact me about any of this stuff. I'm happy to talk to you. Thank you so much for your attention.